We're at the Digital Storm Suite at CES 2023, and I'm ready to show you three of their latest, newest, baddest computers. Starting with one that is such an early prototype, this thing is literally made out of plastic. Okay, I mean, maybe not entirely. There's a metal frame and everything, but I assure you, the top, that's plastic. I don't even want to move it. I was asking them if I could take it apart earlier, and they're all like, and now they're looking at me like scared. They got their phones out. This is like in for insurance purposes, right? <laughs> but I assure you what's inside, seriously cool. This is what they're calling the Spark. And it's actually not the first time the Spark's been released. This is an entirely new version, redesign. The previous version was based on mobile components. So that's a laptop CPU and a laptop graphics card. And it also had an external power brick, which a lot of people didn't really like. Understandably, you can't upgrade a laptop. On this system, it's actually based around an Intel NUC, which is not something I've seen before. It looks like a custom system. It's got custom water cooling. Oh God. Oh, I'm sorry guys. Water cooled graphics card. But inside, that's not an ITX motherboard. It's literally parts from a NUC. Now specifically inside, this is a Z790 chipset, which means you can use any of Intel's 13th gen processors. This system right now is equipped with a 13900K, full fat, not a laptop one. You're getting all of the performance of a 13900K in this system. On the back, a little bit weird. It's an RTX 3080. Now they told me basically the problem right now is getting water blocks for a 40 series is tricky. The fittings on this card actually come out of the bottom. This is an EK block, but Digital Storm usually uses their own custom water block. So they have to design their own water block to first fit in this chassis, and then they have to have enough stock. Apparently there's been a ton of orders of 40 series cards uh, over the holidays. So this one, it's just for show. When you order the system, you can get up to a 4080. Don't worry about that. I've been told the only thing I'm allowed to take off on this thing is the side panel. Oh, these are long screws. <laughs> They're all watching in horror. It's my favorite. Oh, it's good. It's good. Everything's fine. Oh yeah, look at, wow, look at that. It says NUC right there. It's a fancy NUC. As it is a NUC, this system uses SODIMM memory. Those are the little kind of laptop style RAM sticks, but they're not soldered, so you can pull them out. It's only two slots, so you can do up to two by 32. This system's currently configured with two by 16 for 32 gigs. The main benefit of using Intel's NUC platform over laptop components is it's a lot more easy to upgrade. Don't get me wrong. You're not putting an ITX motherboard in the system at home, but if you were to send the system back to Digital Storm, say when 14th gen Intel comes out, it's very possible that they could easily slot in a new motherboard and new CPU without having to kind of rebuild an entire new system, which is a lot easier than the laptop components before. For cooling, they're using their own custom water blocks as well as a 240 mil front AIO, along with two 120 mil fans. Now in the final versions, the real thing, there will be cooling holes on the back. Right now it's just a flat panel, so I wouldn't expect the thermals on this thing are fantastic yet. But I mean, it's a pretty good amount of cooling for how small this case is. Like for reference, two iPhones tall and like an iPhone and a third wide. While it is very small, it is technically a little bit bigger than the first generation Spark. And a big part of that is to accommodate a full discrete power supply. This is a standard SFX power supply from Corsair SF750 instead of the previous generation, which had a giant power brick that you had to lay on the floor, or duct tape to the bottom of your desk. This, it's just integrated. You just need a regular PC power cable. Oh my God, this thing is so small. I'm trying to find where the pump is. Oh yeah. Oh wow. So it's kind of mounted flat on the bottom. Cool. Wow. Oh yeah, I see the, I see the tube. There's one tube comes up. It's like, it's sitting like pancake style at the bottom. One tube comes up to the graphics card and then, oh God. Is the other tube, does it come out of the bottom of the rad? Yeah, okay, so the other one comes out of the bottom of the rat. Okay, that makes sense. This is very compact. It must suck to have to be the person at Digital Storm that assembles these things. <laughs> I don't envy them. <laughs> because of the size of the system, you're not gonna get this thing air-cooled. It's only gonna come water-cooled with either soft or hard tubing, depending on what your preference is. And for storage, there's three M.2 slots. There's only M.2 storage. You're not putting any two and a half inch SSDs unless you happen to have double-sided tape laying around. But I, I promise you, they will not sell it to you like that. <laughs> Looking at the back again, you'll probably notice the only IO is this power button. He's just chilling there. I think he's double-sided tape or something. <laughs> prototype, prototype. But the intention is long-term for this top panel to be able to slide off to give access to the IO. They'll probably ship it with some sort of like right angle display port cable so you can actually get display signals out. But for now, 
you're not plugging anything in. They're expecting this system to come out in Q2 of this year with a price point starting around $2,000 now. Now for your $2,000, you're looking at around a 70 class NVIDIA GPU, as well as like an Intel 13600K. But you can definitely upgrade it up to 4080, up to 13900K. Uh, I'm gonna put this down because I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> Ooh, pretty colors. <laughs> this is a good looking computer. You can customize the colors on the fans, of course. Um, this thing has a lot of fans, up to 10 actually. This is the new revamped version of their Lumos, which is their best-selling computer. Now, there's some changes here, of course. This case is actually entirely new. Now, for the new version, the front is now very open. I mean, this is about as open as you can get, aside from just having straight mesh. Looks super nice. It's gonna have a ton of airflow. On the top, same deal, fully mesh panel. And of course, the back is vented like any computer case. So lots of cooling, that's the main theme for the new system. Unlike the Spark we looked at before, this is a lot more standard of a computer. It looks mostly just like a really nice ATX computer and that's basically what it is. In terms of other things that are new for this generation, there's a custom distribution block with, uh, right now has a DDC pump, supposedly the new generation of DDC that's a lot more reliable, but they're telling me that the actual systems are probably gonna ship with a D5 pump, a lot more reliable, that's what you're gonna want. Uh, this one is custom water-cooled. You can get this one air-cooled. This one's equipped with a 13900K and a 4090. But of course, with any boutique system builder, you can probably spec this thing out however you want. You can put, two, you can put two 4090s in there. You could water-cool two 4090s in there. You probably shouldn't, because SLI is dead, but um, you could if you wanted to. This new version of the Lumos is coming out late Q1. It's gonna be starting at around 1500 bucks. For that, you could expect a 13600 KF and a 50 class NVIDIA GPU. If you wanted to go to something like a 60 class GPU, you're looking more around 1800 bucks. Ooh, there's a button, oh, there's a button. Yeah. Like the Spark, most of the water cooling components are done in house. And one thing I did notice, this is the same water block as the Spark, but the big boy over there has a different water block. Let's go check it out. <laughs> this is what I was looking for. But wait, you don't get to see it until we talk about our sponsor, Dbrand. So our sponsor for CES 2023 actually dropped out, but Dbrand footed the bill. The only catch is they want me to come out onto the streets and offer tech tips to random people for free. It's, I, I'm not optimistic for how this is going to go. Do you want a tech tip? Sure. Are you uh, sure? Yeah? Yeah, I'm listening. Okay, do you know when you use Google? Yeah. That when you put a word into quotation marks, it'll search for the, or a phrase in quotation marks, it'll search for the whole phrase? Yeah. You already knew that? Yeah. Uh, do you know that if you put a minus in front of it, then they'll take it out of the search results? I thought I did not. You didn't know that? No, that's next yes! level. Oh, well, I'm so glad I could be a service. Oh, thank you. Can you do one more thing for me? What? Go to shortlinus.com. Linus Tech Tips. Linus Tech Tips. Yes, I'm putting the pieces together. Is that <laughs> what's happening right now? Uh, yeah, I'm giving out tech tips. Awesome. Oh my God. Um, with the magic of, oh my God. Ha, ah, didn't break it, it's fine, don't worry. Wow. It's so much brighter with the side panel off. I almost like don't want a tinted side panel. Can you do not a tinted side panel? Is that, they're all tinted, all right. They like tint here at Digital Storm. Look at this thing. This is beautiful. Can I take it home? <laughs> this is, if I can carry it, oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, no, not taking it home. This is the new generation of their Aventum system, which is, as you can see, the flagship. This is the big kahuna, big donger. I got lots of money and I want a nice computer computer, okay? This absolute monster of a gaming computer is equipped with a 13900K Asus Z790 Maximus Extreme motherboard. How much RAM we got in here? Doesn't matter, you can get as much RAM as you want. This is the computer when you have fuck you money. And that's what Digital Storm is all about. <laughs> now, curiously, this graphics card is a 3080. Again, this comes down to supply chain constraints. They have a lot of customer orders to fulfill with 4080s and 4090s. So this one, just for the show, just, just pretend, it's 4090. You can configure it with up to two 4090s, which is super cool. Um, they have this awesome quick disconnect system. I watched the video of the previous Eventum that we did recently. I was really hoping this one still had it, and it totally does. If the computer wasn't running, I could just unplug that. Would you be mad if I unplugged the quick disconnect while it was running? Not advisable. Not advisable. Okay, look at this. The magic 
the magic of the Aventum. Look at that. There was a drop of water, but that's pretty much it. Now, all you have to do is take this screw out, unplug these power connectors, and you can pull that graphics card out. It's pretty freaking sick. I made a little mess, I'm sorry. Just a couple drops. In terms of changes from the previous Aventus, this one comes by default with a dual pump configuration with these super cool kind of reservoir, they're not really distribution plates, there's one of those on the back, but they're just kind of cool reservoirs. Both of them have a D5, so that means you're gonna have better flow if you have multiple graphics cards, or if one of the pumps were to die, the water would still flow, which is kind of important when you have a crazy system like this. The other major change this time around is airflow. Of course, with new components getting hotter and hotter, some things had to change in that regard. Now at the bottom, you have a giant mesh panel here for the 560 mil radiator that's on the bottom here. On the other side, there's a 280 mil radiator, and on the top, there's a 420 mil radiator. Three radiators. Every single Aventum comes with three radiators, which is funny because the stock configuration of this thing can come with a 3050. They told me the reason for this is a lot of their customers will just take the graphics card out. Then you can put an air-cooled card, or when you order the system, you can spec out whatever custom crap you want, like dual 4090, single 4090, whatever you want. Now, believe it or not, the backside looks pretty much as good as the front. So let's check it out. It's stuck. Oh, it's on push pins. They're all on push pins. All right, I know what I'm doing. On the back, like the previous generation, there's the big distribution block. Curiously, there are two fans kind of just chilling here. With the side panel on, there's like that much space between the fan and the panel. But they are there sort of for a reason. There's a fan controller back here that gets pretty hot and it also kind of covers the back of the motherboard to help cool the CPU. I don't know how much of a difference it actually makes. But the other main reason is just that it looks cool rather than just being cool. See, look, fans. On the bottom here, you can see where the 280 mil radiator I was talking about before. How does this come off? Oh, okay. Oh, look at that, 280 mil red. And then over here is the power supply. This is an HX 1500i, which is pretty much as high as you will go. This thing is very prototype and like 3D printed laser cut. Trust me, the final one will be better. I'm just gonna let them put that back on. to an angle down, <laughs> look what I just kicked. <laughs> this system's also launching at the end of Q1 along with the Lumos at a starting price of 3,750, maybe up to four grand. For that, you're looking at a 7950X AMD processor, 64 gigs of DDR5, and like I said before, a 50 series card, but of course you can upgrade it to whatever you want. Now, unfortunately, after all of that, the Digital Storm guys didn't bring a monitor and didn't bring a keyboard and mouse, so I don't get to game on any of their fancy gaming computers. So instead, I'm just gonna take this one home along with my short circuit hoodie, ltdstore.com. Bye. That was the Digital Storm Suite at CES 2023. If you guys like this video, like the video, get subscribed, come back for more CES content and, and buy merch. I'm, I'm, I'm going now. Thanks guys, thanks for the PC.